Okay, so we are on to day 116. The quote for today says, I got another cat here now. Um, confidence is going after Moby Dick in a rowboat and taking the tartar sauce with you. And it says, what have you done in life that really showcased your confidence? Now describe your confidence in metaphors. Okay, this seems like kind of a hard question. But if you're following along, think about how you might answer this. And let's see what I said. So I said, I don't know, dot, dot, dot. Uh, I guess just pushing myself to get up and give presentations in front of class and at conferences and things. But to be honest, I don't think I've ever really felt confident while doing that. I'm always nervous and unsure of myself, even with all of my previous jobs, including the mundane jobs. Um, I never feel like I'm doing a good job or on tests or class assignments. I don't think I've ever been 100% confident that I'd done the best job but I'm not sure that lack of confidence have, has really been a bad thing in my life. I feel like it may have been worse for me to have been overly confident in my abilities and be crushed when things don't play out like I thought. And I have seen this with some people in some of my classes where they're used, especially when I get into like my master's program, the PhD isn't, isn't so bad, but like definitely in the master's. Um, and I had a teacher like tell me this one time um, because I, anyway, that's, that's kind of, well, basically to get in the master's program that I had, I didn't have, like, I switched from biology and chemistry to economics and to get into economics master's, I had to go back and take like some basic economics classes, um, as prereqs to get into the program. And so because I already like had a bachelor's, and especially when it was in like the hard, not to not to downplay economics, but it was in kind of the hard sciences. So I'd taken quite a few like pretty tough courses. Um, the economics courses were pretty, very easy for me whenever I took them. And so I just kind of like blew everybody away in my classes. And, you know, I wasn't vocal about it. I didn't speak up in class at all. Um, but the teacher kind of recognized that I was like having a pretty easy time in the class and he talked to me and I told him, you know, I'm going into this master's program. It happened to be the same actually master's program that he had done. And, uh, he, he said something, he, I, I don't know if he was just trying to prepare me for going into the master's, but he said, you know, like it's a little bit different, you know, like you get into your master's, he's like, maybe not even your master's, but your PhD, you know, you're used to being like the top of your class and it's not necessarily gonna be that way. Like once you get into these higher levels of education and um, I didn't think that, like I never expect myself, especially like even in those economics classes, I was like, oh, I don't have a background in any of this. Like I was very, very, I was not confident at all when I started my master's program because all of these kids had come from like economics or ag business and things like that. And so I thought like, this is gonna be so hard for me. I have so much catching up to do. And so especially like the first half of the first semester, I just had no confidence whatsoever. Um, and then I ended up like doing pretty well. And then I saw like the, I saw some kids who came into the master's program thinking that they were going to do really well and like ace everything and then they kind of had they struggled when they weren't like the top of the class because they were used to being like the top of the class and um so yeah like I don't I don't know that it's necessarily a good thing to go into something like super comp I don't know like confidence is good and bad at the same time like I think it can set you up for disappointment in some cases, but, um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's see what else I wrote. Uh, I said what normally happens. Yeah, this is true. I said what normally happens is me being pleasantly surprised when things turn out better than I expected. And that was what happened like my first year of my master's. Like, 
I didn't think I was going to do that well. I thought it was going to be like a, a really massive struggle and it wasn't, it wasn't easy, but it turned out better, better than I expected because I kind of had my expectations set kind of low. Um, I said, I feel like a lot of people today are pushed to show false confidence. Yeah. And I think I wrote this, I used to like be on Instagram quite a bit and I'm, it's been forever since I've really been on Instagram. Um, but I feel like there is a lot of, of false confidence on there. Um, and then I said like a fake it till you make it sort of thing. Um, yeah. And especially cause I don't know if it was like the pandemic and everybody being at home and trying to find ways to like make money from home. And there was, it seemed like a lot of these people got into these like multi-level marketing or network marketing and, um, you know, trying to be coaches and things like that. And I could tell like some of them, you could tell that they were being coached to like say these things and act, you know, confident about all this stuff. And it, it just came across as, you know, kind of false confidence. And, um, and I felt bad for them because it seemed like they were really, a lot of them were like really trying hard. Um, but it just, you know, those, types of things don't really a lot of people some people are successful in them but a lot of people aren't um but I I felt I got the impression that a lot of these programs were pushing them to be like you have to show that you have money and even if you don't you have to have this perception that you're successful and you have to act like you're already there even if you're not there yet um and I I feel like that does work to some extent but I don't know it's not been the the way that I've done it <laughs> and um but yeah so I said fake it till you make it I said this may be true in some cases but I don't think it's possible for many um to actually make it um which is just setting up people for failure so yeah I guess I'm kind of conflicted about confidence I think if it's real confidence then it's good, but I also feel like the way I, just in a lot of cases, I like to be optimistic, but also prepared for the worst. So that's just kind of how I've lived most of my life and what's worked for me. So I don't know, I have some confidence, but it's not like full on total confidence. Maybe I need to work on it a little bit more. And I feel like I am gaining more confidence as I, you know, kind of get a little further in school and learn about more stuff. I'm feeling a lot more confidence in my field as things are getting easier, but yeah, I'm definitely not there yet. And I didn't do the metaphor thing. I didn't know how to describe my confidence in a metaphor. So I don't know. Yeah. I'm not good at like coming up with metaphors. So I kind of skipped that part, but anyway, that's what I have for day 116. I will be back tomorrow with day 117.